tutorial, we will have a look at how you can add a retake the quiz button to your Thrive Quiz Builder quizzes. When you are configuring your Thrive Quiz Builder results page, you have the options of creating a link or a button that will allow the users to retake the quiz if they did not manage to get the required result on their first try. So this is helpful in those situations in which you have, for example, a quiz embedded on a Thrive Apprentice lesson and you plan on enabling the mark as complete feature. This feature allows you to decide which students of your online course can proceed to the next lesson in Thrive Apprentice based solely on their quiz results. However, in case your students are not able to pass the test on their first try, you would still want them to have the chance of retaking the quiz. And this is when the retake the quiz button comes in handy. So if you want to read more about this process altogether and the features that I've just mentioned, then check out the dedicated articles from our knowledge base. So first access Thrive Quiz Builder and look for the quiz you plan to work on. Then you can click here on manage because you will have to edit the results page. Okay, now here you can simply add a button to your template. Let's type here, retake the quiz. Now, of course, what we can also do here is further customize the template. So maybe add also some text here that's informing the student that by clicking on the retake the quiz button, the quiz will start once more. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. You can see that I've changed the color of the button, but I haven't done any other major changes to my template. So with this button selected in the left sidebar, I'm gonna look for the dynamic link option and click on it. And then you can see that this selection is made by default. So you have the source, which is the quiz. And then the option, the only option available here is to restart the quiz. So I'm just going to click on insert and the dynamic link was successfully added. Now, of course, the same can be achieved if you decide, for example, to use this feature on a text element instead of a button. The only difference is that dynamic options will be available in the text panel. So I'm just going to quickly add a text element to my template then select the dynamic link from here and once more you can see that the same options can be applied to our text element let's just click on insert and this dynamic link has been successfully created now of course this can be customized to show exactly the text that you want simply by typing that text here in this field all right so that's that this is how you can easily add a text or a button that redirects the users to the start of the quiz.